Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's time to vote for your favorite cover of the week. This is week 35. Hey fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0, and you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Road to Comic Book Cover of the Year 2018. This is week 35, and this is a video series where each and every week, you fans get to vote on your favorite cover of the week. And by the time we get to the end of the year, we'll have our nominations, and then you guys get to do that final voting, and whatever book gets that covenant title of comic book cover of the year 2018 was because of your guys votes so as always guys thank you for your participation in this series and if you're new to this series welcome it's never too late to start so before we get into week 35's grouping of books we have some business to take care of in week 34 uh, I felt like week 34 was kind of a slow week there wasn't the greatest covers and you guys agreed with me last week that G.I. Joe issue 255 deserved to move on to the next round. That book won by a landslide by the other books. Uh, some of the other books got two or three votes, um, but G.I. Joe just got multiple votes and it wound up blowing out the competition. So with that being said, let's move on to week 35's books, okay? So, here we go. My number six favorite cover of the week went to Spawn, issue 289. This is a pretty cool book, as you just get to see Spawn, who's front and center, and you got this crazy red background, and uh, and then you just kind of see, like, his green eyes, you know, little tints of green here and there, uh, where it should be on the cover. It just looks really awesome. I love the way this one looks. So if it's your favorite cover of the week, please don't forget to vote. All right. Number five favorite cover of the week went to Immortal Hulk issue five. Really detailed cover as you get to see Squash, Sasquatch battling uh, the Hulk. And uh, just really a lot of, again, detail that went into these characters. I love their, their themselves. They're fighting. And you get to see like little tints of green on Sasquatch. Uh, it just it, It's just a nice looking cover. I really enjoyed that one as well. So if you guys want to see that get cover of the week, please don't forget to vote. Alright, my number four favorite cover of the week. This goes to Venom First Host. This is issue two. Um, I love seeing this cover. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of detail. You get to see Eddie Brock. With the symbiote coming off of him, but then you get to see the symbiote, symbiote's face there. You get to see this uh, spaceship flying through the symbiote, which is there also. You get to see the Kree warrior who's wearing the suit. Um, you get to see space in the background. So just all kinds of cool things going on in that cover. It was really neat. So if it's your favorite cover, please don't forget to vote. Next goes to, is my number three, and this goes to Silver Surfer Annual. All right, this one is really cool. You get to see Silver Surfer right there in the forefront. The cool thing that I like about this is like when it comes to the cosmic books, it needs to be detailed. You get to see the reflection on uh, Silver Surfer, which was nice. You get to see the reflection on his surf form. You get to see Galactus in the background mixed in with cosmic space there. It just it's a gorgeous looking cover. A lot of detail went into it. I think Philip Tan did that cover. So if it's your favorite cover of the week, please don't forget to vote. Alright. My number two favorite cover of the week. It goes to another one of those Deathstroke vs. Batman covers. This is the B cover. This is issue 35. You get to see Deathstroke choking Batman with this chain. And he's got his knife going against his head, and he's trying to cut it. It's just, dude, it's just intense. Looks like there's this intense fighting going on in this cover. And so if you guys want to see this get cover of the week, please don't forget to vote. All right, last but not least, my number one cover of the week goes to Justice League issue 7. 
So it's not the normal cover, this is the B cover and uh, our variant cover and you get to see that it's a Jim Lee Superman variant cover. This is cool, Jim Lee draws Superman very well. You get to see him use like his uh, heat vision to blast through like a rocks or a brick wall or whatever it is. All this detail that goes into these rocks and, and just the explosion is just awesome and just the aura of his heat vision, it just seals the deal for me. I love even like Superman's hair, it's all like wavy and everything. Just awesome detail that goes into it. I love Jim Lee's artwork when he takes his time, it's, it's so good. So that was my number one favorite cover of the week and if it's your favorite cover of the week, again, please don't forget to vote. Every vote matters. Don't forget the rules, one vote per person. Um, if you have your own suggestion, please put it in the comments below. And again, if you're voting, put that in the comments below. Uh, likes, if you like somebody else's vote, that doesn't count. You have to physically type it in there, okay? And then also, um, if you're new to the series, once again, please put it in those comments below and have it down by next Monday, 8 a.m. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss a single video from me. And until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.